Let's talk about our friends at Panini America, the official trading cards of the Dan Patrick Show. We invite you to check out their NFT marketplace for one-of-a-kind digital cards available in packs or at Panini's public auctions on the site where you'll find the hottest rookies, the biggest superstars, and all-time greats. Check out the newest NFL and UFC prism drops or some of the other NFT products from the NFL, NFL PA, NBA, and UFC. There's something for everyone at Panini America. Start your collection now at PaniniAmerica.net slash blockchain. News Radio, we're partnering with Bible League to send God's word to the persecuted churches around the world. Here's Michael. Joseph, a group of radicals showed up on the doorstep of Nora one day in the Middle East. You know what they did? They burned her house down, nearly killing her and her four daughters, the youngest of which, about four years of age, maimed for life with very serious burns. You know what her crime is? Two things. Number one, she's a born-again believer. And number two, she was caught educating her daughters beyond the age of eight. In that part of the world, in that system, that is a very serious violation. But this woman did not grow bitter. She's grown bold from all of that, and she's led nearly 40 women to faith in Christ. All these former radicals, they follow Jesus together, but they need Bibles there in the Middle East. $5 sends a Bible, $50 sends 10. Help us send God's Word. Just call 800 Yes Word. 800 Yes Word. Or click on the Bible League banner at singingnews.com. WQE 99.1 FM Noonan. WBRQ LaGrange. WZV 90.5 FM Lionville. JC Sports Networks. The House of Light brings clarity to your soul, offering a safe space for healing through our compassionate practitioners, services, classes, and wisdom, plus the tools to support you in our retail space. This is Margie from Connecting Hearts Network. I'd like you to take just a moment and listen to Linda Kirkpatrick explain to you what Family Patterns Matters is all about. Family Patterns Matter works with youth and their families to help overcome barriers that prevent their success. We meet twice a month with mentoring, tutoring, teaching life skills, resilience, gratitude, and kindness. We also bring music and art therapy. Please visit our website at www.familypatternsmatter.org. Tune in Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 1030 to listen to the Sustainable Brown Girl radio show hosted by me, Ariel Green. Each week, we'll learn ways to be more sustainable in our everyday lives. We'll discuss exciting environmental news, ways to get involved locally, and we'll hear from women of color who are saving the planet in their own unique ways. Be sure to listen to the Sustainable Brown Girl radio show every Thursday at 10 a.m. If you think or know you had COVID-19, you can be around others after 10 days since symptoms first appeared and after 24 hours with no fever without fever-reducing medication and after other symptoms have improved. If you have tested positive for COVID-19 and you had no symptoms, you can be around others 10 days after you got tested for COVID-19. To learn more, visit cdc.gov slash coronavirus. I am beautiful. I am lovable. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am creative. I am vibrant. I am attractive. I am awesome. I am strong. I am godlike. I am a child of the most high God. I'm getting better and better and better and better. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am growing more. I'm doing more. I am asking for more. I am offering more. I am more. More, more, more. Good Monday morning. It's God's Garden Girl on God's Garden Girl Radio. This bright, this Monday morning, we are here on the radio. Whoa. Well, I hope you guys had a great, great week since we last spoke. If you are hearing my voice, you made it. Congratulations, congratulations. I'm Tanisha O'Shell. I'm here every Monday morning at 10 a.m. to give you loads of inspiration, happiness, uh, tools for joy, and, of course, healing. 
Yeah, so how's everybody doing this weekend, this day, this Monday? The last Monday of the month, I think. Time is moving on. Yes, yes, it is the last Monday of the month. Yes, yes, yes. So what do we want to talk about today? Today I want to talk about the security, the safety and the security in God. The safety and the security in God. And right off the bat, I just want to... We go ahead and read one of um, one of my favorite psalms, and hoping that this will just um, calm all the uh, 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 the raging um, uh, uh, things going on in your life and in your mind and in your body. All right, so it's, it's Psalms twenty three. It's so simple. It's you know we all know it, but I want to read it today, and I want you to ingest this today. It says, "The Lord is my shepherd." I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, even though we may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for God is with us. His rod and his staff, it comforts us. He prepares a table, ooh, a feast, y'all, before me in the presence of my enemies. He prepares a table for me. He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He announces your he anoints your head with oil. Your cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm talking, speaking of the safety of things right now. Things may seem to be up in the air or you don't know where this next thing is going to come from. But God has assured us that as surely as we got through the other things and everything else that was going on, we're going to get through that too. Move up a little bit to that. Yes, so we're able to rest in the Lord. Now, you know, I was talking with my girlfriend earlier this morning and we were talking about how our physical bodies, they just get so anxious and, um, you know, oh, I need this to happen. Oh, this happened. Oh, this, this, um, this house, like I say, my pipe, a pipe had a pipe bust at the house, you know, and it seems like it's just, oh, 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 oh. but God will make a way. We don't have to get anxious. We don't have to get all worried and all of this stuff. And Oh, where's the money going to come from? How's it going to get fixed? Da, 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 da. I've learned to just be still. And listen for the answers to come. Be still. Because here's the thing. If you are listening to my voice, you've made it through thousands, thousands of things that seemed like they were going to take you out. But they did not. So I'm I'm calling you and I'm challenging you guys to rest. Rest in the midst of the storm. Tell your storm, look here, I'm about to take a nap. And that's how you slap the shit out of your problems. You take a nap on them. Lay your arse arse down somewhere. Sit down, sit back, and be still and know that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. And if this door doesn't open, then that door was not meant for me. Because remember, you, there are doorways for you, but there are no doors on your path. There are no doors. So if you get to a door and that door is not opening, that's not your door. It may seem like that's something you wanted. You wanted those new Jordans. I mean, I don't even want to wear Jordans. But you wanted those new Jordans. You had to get those new Jordans, but you couldn't get them. That's okay. It's all right. You wanted that new house, but you you really wanted that house, but you didn't get it. It's because there's something else for you. It's either yes or not now. It's with God, it's always yes or not now. And when we internalize all of this anxiety inside of us, it it manifests itself in physical, um, physical ailments. Because if you think about it, if you, if you, if you, if you stand in that stillness, 
anxiety has a pulse. It has a rhythm. And it's a very rigid and uncomfortable rhythm. That's doing something to your cells. That's doing something. So in the Bible, it also says, um, talking about the Sabbath rest. You know, we know the Sabbath rest to be a day um, uh, in most religions. It could be the Saturday or Sunday when you take that day to rest. But let's look at it in a metaphysical and metaphorical way that you enter into the rest of God. That means that you don't have to do the work. You can just sit back and allow God to do what he said he was going to do. Allow the power of God that lives in you, the same power that says greater works, greater works will you do because I go to be with the Father. But Jesus left us those instructions so that we can rest. He always said, it's not me. I can do nothing of the Father. So it's not you. You have nothing to do but believe. And then you move when you are instructed to move. Because if we start moving when we're in this state of anxiety, we start knocking stuff over. We start making it worse than what it was. And then next week when it's all passed and done, it's done. So let's find the peace now. Let's stay in the peace of God now. Okay, so I I picked a couple cards today. And this one here um, is what I was thinking, and I picked it out. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. It says, nothing real can be threatened, and nothing unreal exists. Nothing real can be threatened, and nothing unreal can exist. And herein lies the peace of God. If it's not love, only things that are our love will last. Everything else is going to fall away, y'all. All your haters, all your naysayers, all of those people that are giving you problems, that's going to fall away. And what's remaining, what's true, is the love. The things that are um, uh, given to you or, or manifested through you in love. So, again, no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Oh, I sent out a... Um, uh, um, voice message the other day um, because sometimes I just get these downloads and just go ahead and just let it out and send it to whom it should, whom God lays it on my heart to send it and that was the, the message that he gave me to send out on this week and it was that no weapon no weapon no weapon formed against you shall prosper It just will not work. It may seem as if it's going to work. It may look like it's working. But guess what? All things are working together for your good. So no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Again, nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. And then I have one more. It says, uh. It is not danger that comes when defenses are laid down. It is safety. It is peace. It is joy. And it is God. Listen to that again now. It is not danger that comes when we lay down our defenses. When I was in elementary school, we used to, boy, I, I, <laughs> we used to have this music teacher, Mr. Trotter, and he would make us sing all types of songs. We'd march around that gym. But one of the songs that we used to sing was, I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Y'all sing along. I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. I'm not going to study war no more. You're not going to study war no more. Don't waste your time on studying war. Don't waste your time on people that are trying to come against you because guess what? They can't touch you. What's for you is for you. Nobody can stop that. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they try. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Y'all didn't know I could beatbox. I'm going to lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside down by the riverside 
down by her. I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. Just having some fun, y'all. Down by the riverside, we're not gonna study war no more. Listen, that's a trick of the enemy. That's a trick of your enemy to think to make you feel like you're you're unsafe, that you can be attacked. You cannot be attacked. The only way you can be attacked is if you receive the attack, right? If you receive it, but you don't have to receive it because there is a hedge around you. You have a choice. Am I going to receive this or am I just going to, like my buddy say, spray that pan on me and let it roll off? In my defenselessness, my safety lies, right? Um, Nelson uh, Mandela, uh, uh, Gandhi, uh, Martin Luther King, they were great at um, using this this, um, powerful, powerful weapon of being still. It's actually one of my superpowers, being still, resting, taking a nap. If you've ever done any, any um, uh, uh, sessions with me or anything, that's one of my big things, taking a nap in the midst of the storm, letting it go. That's the hard work, entering to the rest, entering to the rest. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we need a dominant thought for today, right? What is going to be our dominant thought? Our dominant thought. Let's take it right from um, let's take it right from Psalms 23 this week. Our dominant thought is, "Thank you, God, that you prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies." Oh yeah, that's the only fighting we doing today. Thank you, God, that you prepare me. You prepare before me. Wait a minute. Let me get this together here. Thank you, God. That you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. Period. Thank you, God, that you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemy. Right in your face. Now, you may be looking around at your circumstances saying, I don't see any peace. I don't see this, this table going on before me. I don't see that. Well, that's when your faith comes in. That's when you got to stop looking with those your, these eyes and start looking with this with my big old third eye today. Start looking with your third eye and see things as they are. If this says, let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich. That's when you start to speak things the way you want it. Your body may be hurting, you may be in pain, but begin to speak and begin to see yourself without the pain. Begin to see that that, um, table laid out before you and begin to feel what it would feel like to go ahead and get that steak and potatoes, that um, surf and turf off that table and just go ahead and thrive. You're thriving right now in the presence of your enemies. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. We are not fighting anything because when you fight something, you give it energy. You give it energy. That's what it wants. That's what the obstacles want. They want you to fight them. So they'll come for you. But you can shut it down with love. Shut it down. Shut it down with love. Because they can't fight against love. The darkness cannot survive in the light. Once you shine that light on them, shine a light on them. Hey, shine the light on them. Because surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of your life. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Yeah. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want most of y'all listening to me right now are going to have something to eat this morning. Y'all have food. You have a, head, a, 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 a roof over your head. Listen, God has not forsaken you. He has not forgotten you. He is even closer than you could think, y'all. Right inside you. Right inside you. Just pull away from that body, from these bodies of ours that are eventually going to have to get that graduation and go to the next level anyway. And tap into that still, small voice that's inside you. That's the God inside of you. Draw from that power. Draw from that peace. Draw from that no weapon formed against you power. That resurrection power. That greater works will you do because God, because Jesus went to be with the Father. Power. That rising up on the third day. Power. That all things are working together for your good. Power. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
He makes me to lie down in green pastures. That means that he's giving you rest, y'all. He's allowing you to rest. You don't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off like I'm, I'm busy, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. I'm busy. No, you want to be, when you're, when you're moving, when you're doing things, you don't want to be busy. You want to be productive. You want it to be powerful. You want one step. Like I said, when you touch the ground, the devil be like, damn. When you wake up in the morning, just one step. Don't have to be a million steps, just one step with God. So don't rush yourself. Just rest and allow God to do what he does. He said he'll restore my soul. I don't know who needs restoring today, but allow God to restore you today. Allow God to restore you today. He leads me in the path of rightness for his name's sake. You're going the wrong way. Can't nobody tell you how to go your way. Only you know how to go your way because only you've been where you've been. Only you know how to go your way because only you know where you've been. Yes, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, death is always like, ah, ah, ah. But guess what, death? Death, you have no sting because death is a graduation. That's just we'd have made it through this life. So beat it with that. You can have Mary J. Bud say, miss me with that. Miss me with that because we all got to go that way. We all have to. That's the, that's the graduation now. I don't even see it as a sad thing. I see it as a graduation. I miss the person. Y'all know I miss my husband so. Oh, I miss him. I miss him. I miss him. But I know that he has graduated and that he has went on. And he doesn't have to worry about uh, walking in the shadow of death or feeling like the world is coming against him or dealing with the, the, the issues of day to day. Mm -mm. We've passed all of that. So even though we walk through the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. For thou art with me. God is with you. I have to tell myself that sometimes when I'm driving and I'm like, you know, y'all know that driving was a thing for me. I'm getting much, much better now because I'm starting to realize that, you know, um, perfect love cast out all fear. But when I do start um, thinking about that, so, you know, I was just like, I'm going to. You know, it's going to end in a car crash or something. But then I tell myself, listen, you only have one time. Nobody could take your life. Your, the, the, your date of birth is already known, and your date of death is already known. So if this is it, hey, this is it. It's only one time. It's going to happen, and we don't know when. We don't know how. We don't know the day. So I'm just going to rest. I'm going to enjoy my life until it's that time. But it's not that time because here I am, and I'm not going to waste time worrying when I can even be enjoying. No. No, 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 no. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For, the, for God is with me, and his rod and his staff, it comforts me. I can lean on it. I can lean on the power of God. And it's right inside of you, y'all. You don't have to go to nobody else to get it. It's right inside of you. It's on tap. It's on demand. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Okay? He prepares a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Okay? Here we go back to my girl Mary J. Blige. Hated or love it. I'm going to shine. Yes, hated or love it. We're going to shine. So, let's just do it. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. My cup runs over. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes, yes, yes. So let's see peace today, guys. Let's see rest today, guys. Let's see real, um, uh, 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 uh safety today guys um coming from the god from coming from god that is within us the god that made us all the god that is, made this beautiful sunrise today that made this beautiful day that got you where you are today when you thought that you wouldn't even make it to today but here we are and it is not uh, it is not danger that comes when defenses are laid down it is safety it is peace it is joy, and it is God. Yes, and nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. 
and herein lies the peace of God. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. Well, that was good to me today. I don't know how that was to y'all, but it was good to me. And so we're going to wrap it up. Let me see where God's Garden Girl is going to be next. Let me update you guys on that. Um, this Saturday coming up, which is the fifth Saturday of the month, we're going to be in Serenby. So if you guys haven't had a chance to meet me out there in Serenby, meet me there. Um, we have some, uh, the herbal teas are there. Um, of course, we have the oils, the bug spray. Did I bring something new? Oh, the seed, the seed sets. And the seed sets, the um, fall garden seed sets, because it's now time to plant your seed, guys, for the fall. The seed is the harvest. So you can get those seeds at GodsGardenGirl.com. You can also get tickets for tea parties at GodsGardenGirl.com. And you can catch me in Serenby this Saturday from 9, oh, is it 9? 9 to 1 in Serenby, Georgia. It's beautiful there. Come out, bring your family, and grab some lunch or a beautiful brunch out there in um Sarah and B, Georgia. And I think that's it for this week. Last week, yesterday or Saturday, whenever that was, we were in Hogansville. Had a great time out there. We'll be back out there on the second Saturday. First Saturday is noon in Georgia. Back in hometown. Good old Noonan. So you'll be able to catch me in Noonan on the second. Okay, the third, this fifth, whoop, 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 this next coming Saturday, Sarah and B. Saturday after that, which is the first Saturday, will be in Noonan. And then after that, we'll be back in Hogansville. And we'll take it from there. And then all things are at GodsGardenGirl.com. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, meet me here next week. Same bat time, same bat channel on the radio. Whoa, on the radio with God's Garden Girl. Love you guys. Peace. And remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you or me shall prosper it just will not work period boo all right i love you guys god bless you and i'll see you next week god's garden girl i'm getting better and better and better and better and better and better i am i am Offer deadline on Oak Street, aisle three. Welcome to the housing market. I'm with Redfin, and I'm here to help. I need to sell my house. Great. Redfin charges a 1% listing fee when you buy and sell with us, which is more than half off the usual fee and saves you an average of $8,400. Oh, wow. Is that all? Uh, yep. I'm kidding. You had me at 1%. Want to win? Sell with Redfin. It's real estate done right. Bidding war at the offer's counter in five minutes. Average savings is Redfin refund plus 1% listing fee. Subject to minimums. Not available in all areas. Learn more at redfin.com.